Urban operations are among the toughest for dismounted soldiers. These operations also pose some of the greatest challenges for wireless communications due to the close proximity of devices and potential for interference. The Alleys of Austin scenario represents a practice sweep of a residential neighborhood by dismounted soldiers and asks the question, can artificially intelligent radios collaboratively manage the RF spectrum when operating in close proximity and with limited bandwidth? Each team represents a squad moving in formation, communicating back and forth within their squad, clearing the city as they go. Each squad consists of nine soldiers with one UAV. Each stage of this scenario represents a different era of communication technology. Stage one represents squads from the 1990s, using spectrum to primarily transmit voice calls. Stage two represents the squad of the near future, where, in addition to the stage one voice communication requirements, we see the inclusion of UAV command and control, overhead video, and GPS position tracking. And in stage three, we take a look at the highly connected soldier of the future, where, in addition to the communications requirements of stage one and two, every soldier in the squad is equipped with body cameras, transmitting GPS data in real time, and downloading satellite imagery to smart devices. Throughout the scenario, on the ground, radios will experience constant interference from radios of the other two competing networks. While the increasing traffic demands for each stage will put greater and greater pressure on the spectrum. There is sufficient spectrum to meet all needs of the ensemble. However, as we go from stage one to two to three, the margin of error becomes vanishingly small. The demand for wireless data at the soldier level is increasing stressing the ability to allocate sufficient spectrum for our soldiers. The ability to share spectrum is key to meeting the needs of the next generation warfighter. For the Alleys of Austin scenario, those teams that are best able to collaborate and equitably divide spectrum resources will be the most successful.